What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome to my 2016 WWE Payback Predictions video. As we get into what's going to happen at Payback uh, in about 48 hours from recording this particular video. So, as always, let me know what you think, who you think is going to win at Payback down in the comments, and I will get to my predictions right aboot now. Starting, or... Kicking off with the kickoff show, which is uh, Kalisto versus Ryback for the U.S. title. This match, as far as I can tell, has had no build. It's just happening to happen. they got to have something on the kickoff. So they're going to have their WrestleMania rematch. But with no real build, I could see, and no real story, how do you even make a prediction? How do you even care about what is happening to either superstar without having any kind of a build? So... Much like WrestleMania, I will say that that Kalisto retains the U.S. title because, honestly, who cares? Anyway, moving on to the main show. We have Enzo and Cass versus the Vaud Villains, the winner of which gets a number one contender shot at the tag team titles held by The New Day. Uh, and this is interesting because it's an NXT versus NXT uh, matchup, more or less. And uh, it's going to be curious to see how they move forward with both these teams, obviously, with Enzo and Cass getting huge reactions, as they should. Um, and that's been fun to see. And the Vaude Villains kind of debuting on SmackDown, not as much of a fanfare uh, for their main roster call-up. So the question remains, who goes on to, hopefully, uh, most likely, fight the New Day at what you would assume would be extreme rules uh, in uh, the end of the month, in like three weeks. So, it's an interesting one. Uh, I think that having Enzo and Cass win, as much as the crowd is certainly behind them to win this match, having Enzo and Cass win makes less sense only because they obviously have positioned the New Day as faces now. And are you really going to have a face tag team win the match and then go on to fight a face tag team at the pay-per-view. Granted, the promos would be epic, but I think logically, uh, considering everyone assumed they were going to have Enzo and Cass uh, feud with the Dudleys, uh, as they had kind of started doing, I think it is possible that the Dudleys will interfere and cost Enzo and Cass the match and have the Bob Villains win this match and go on for a heel versus face deal at Extreme Rules. In a couple weeks, and obviously bring Enzo and Cass back, back into the picture after that. Um, I, I think that makes more logical sense. You know, I wouldn't mind seeing Enzo and Cass win. I, I, as I said, potentially epic promos, but I think in terms of you know you want to sell tickets for a heel versus face uh, interaction, then you're going to see the Vaud villains take this victory. Anyway. Plenty of time for Enzo and Cass to get into that world tag team title picture. They're super over right now, so that's all good. Next match on the card is uh, Dolph Ziggler versus Baron Corbin. Uh, a match that I also kind of don't care about. And it's just been kind of a lot of attacking back and forth. Um, but I think certainly uh, if you are debuting any superstar in their first... Um, well, granted... Mania was his first uh, pay-per-view match on the main roster. But his first singles feud, you don't have guys lose their first singles feud. That doesn't make any sense. And if anybody can make Baron Corbin look like a million bucks, it would be Dolph Ziggler. So I say Baron Corbin uh, goes over in this match and hopefully continues to look dominant. Next up we have... The Lunatic Fringe Dean Ambrose versus Y2J Chris Jericho in an ongoing feud that has kind of been okay and kind of sometimes been lame. So, I like both these guys. And uh, certainly Jericho, at, at this stage of his career, should be, uh, you know, losing and putting over the young talent, which he did for Dolph Ziggler which he did for CM Punk, which he did for Fondango. So if Fondango can beat Chris Jericho and Dean Ambrose can't do it, you know, never mind AJ Styles of Mania, but if Dean Ambrose 
uh, so at this point, needs a win over somebody. He lost to Triple H. He lost to Brock Lesnar. Like, the future and the money would be in Dean Ambrose moving forward. So, giving Dean Ambrose a solid victory over Chris Jericho makes the most sense. However, if this feud is not done at payback, if this feud continues into Extreme Rules, and perhaps even after that, then the question is, obviously, you would give Jericho that first victory. But, this might be a one and done, so I'm going to call Ambrose uh, right now, only because I think that this might just be a one and done feud for Jericho, and then Ambrose moves on to other things, hopefully, um, and we'll see how that goes. But, you know, just, just putting it out there. If this feud goes on to Extreme Rules, that means Jericho's going to win. Because that's kind of how it gets set up with those kinds of things. Anyway, yes, so I'm going to call Ambrose. Um, next up, uh, another non-title. We have Sami Zayn versus Kevin Owens in their first pay-per-view match of this 15-year rivalry. Their first main roster pay-per-view match. Uh, you know, not counting the Rumble. Their first main roster singles pay-per-view match. Got to clarify those things. A bunch of them in a row. Um, and I don't think you give Sami Zayn the win yet. I think you have Owens, you know, just roughing the fuck up. I, I think that redemption story, that end of that story, like, I don't think this feud is over. It's not a one and done with these two guys. So, I think you put Owens over here, uh, and, and certainly, um, with what he's been doing the past couple of months, you know, it'd be good for him to have a strong win here and look good uh, because these guys will certainly go at it again and again and again. But first time, I'm going to say Owens. Next up, our, uh, next, er, our, our first main show title match here, which is The Miz, who is your IC champion, versus Cesaro. And The Miz being accompanied by his lovely wife, Maurice. This one's hard to call. Because I want Cesaro to be the IC champion. I want him so badly to be the IC champion and have amazing matches with everybody and just show, prove Vince wrong, that he's not too Swiss or whatever else. Um, but it's hard to call considering you just gave Miz that belt uh, at uh, the day after Mania. So that being said, who wins this match? Uh, is Maurice a factor? Probably. Um... And I'm going to go against my gut here. No, you know what? I changed my fucking mind, Cesaro. Like, my brain says, oh, they're going to fucking screw Cesaro. It's going to be The Miz, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, they, 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 they brought back Maurice just, just for The Miz. So that's going to get over his character, etc., etc. But fucking my gut says, God damn it, give it to Cesaro. So fuck the brain, going with the gut, Cesaro, new IC champion. Please, please. Anyway, uh, next title match is Charlotte versus Natalia for the women's title. No longer the Dio's title, the women's title. And Charlotte is going to have Ric Flair at ringside. Natalia will have Bret Hart at ringside. This is a recreation of their NXT match that kind of had the same deal. Um, but even though... Oh, that, there you go. Styles Clash. Even though... Um, I, was, I was actually like... Even though you're recreating this match in that nature, even though you've got Bret Hart to hopefully negate the cheating ways of Ric Flair, I've said it before, and I will say it again. Until you actually split up Charlotte and Ric Flair, Charlotte will not lose that title. So until that happens, we're not going to see it. And maybe it's a payback, but I doubt it. And I just don't see N N Natalia as your new women's champion. I think if anybody's going to get that belt off of Charlotte, it's going to be Sasha Banks. Where the fuck is Sasha Banks? Anyway, that brings us to this match. This main event that could go so many ways between... Well, it just went one way fucking there. Goddamn. Well then, video game, I was going to spend another five minutes here making... I gotta go to a different match, God damn it, God damn it! I was going to wrap it up in one match, and that was going to happen, and now it didn't. Let me get into my, 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 my predictions. Not the game's predictions, my predictions on this match uh, in just a minute. 
All right, so before I got distracted there, uh, I was going to talk about AJ Styles versus Roman Reigns, who is your WWE Champion. Obviously, a lot of X-Factors in this match. We've got a Luke Gallows, we've got Carl Anderson, guys who were in the Bullet Club. You've got the Usos. Uh, you've got maybe Finn Balor. There are a number of wild cards in terms of how this match could go down, but the bottom line is this. It took three wins of that title to establish Roman Reigns as the guy. He's doing the fucking Make-A-Wish promos. He's doing the breast cancer things. He beat Triple H at the main event at WrestleMania. It's only been a month. There is next to zero chance that Vince is going to take, take the belt off of his Samoan John Cena and put it on uh, the vanilla midget, not my, not my words, AJ Styles. Um, Roman Reigns has the look. Roman Reigns has most of the ability. Not all the ability, because obviously he's still kind of terrible on promo. Um, but Roman Reigns fits the mold in what Vince looks for in a world champion. I expect Roman Reigns to hold that belt until at least SummerSlam, wherein he'll probably lose it to either John Cena or a returning Seth Rollins. Uh, as much as the internet would lose their shit at AJ Styles winning the fucking world title, um, I seriously doubt it's going to happen. I said this in my Raw reactions, I think this week or last week. Um, it feels like Vince is buying up guys that are credible threats in other federations to feed them to Roman Reigns to make him look strong. Uh, so, maybe on a wing and a prayer... Maybe, you know, if they want to get some fucking headlines and have AJ win it, but from everything they've built in the past two years to build Roman Reigns as the guy, uh, there is no way that he's finally just, you know what? He's going to get booed. Fuck it, who cares? He's the guy. Not a good guy, not a bad guy, just the guy. Whatever. So, um, I'm saying there is 99% chance Roman Reigns is going to retain this title Sorry to everybody who's a big fan of AJ Styles. I fucking love AJ Styles, but there's just no way he's going to win this. There's just no way they'd spend all that time and then give the belt to AJ. Um, but again, Extreme Rules is in three weeks. So, could he, could he be a champ for three weeks? It's possible. I'm just saying it is super fucking unlikely. As much as I don't want that to... As much as I really don't care for Roman Reigns. Uh... It's very clear how they have positioned him as the next John Cena, and it is very clear that he will have a somewhat lengthy title reign, having now been a three-time world champion. So that's it. That's the predictions. It's Friday. Play some fucking video games. Um, I'm a tax slug, and uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around for these weird fucking payback predictions 2016. More videos on this channel every damn day. Check them out. And I'll see you next time right here on this channel. And I'll know.